guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading to episode 8 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, I'm probably, you're probably wondering, why the heck is it like whatever time this is coming out? I was supposed to record this yesterday, but my mom needed my help, and I didn't finish with her until about 4 a.m., and I wanted to watch it, but I fell asleep. So, I didn't get to watch this or Pretty Wood Detective Club. I'm like, oh, oh could I do? Poor baby. Is it a little too early though? Oh, like a puffer fish basically? It is really weird to watch this on the Sunday. Even though, I mean, because, like, beforehand, like, way before Crunchyroll got the rights to this freaking show, I had to always wait until Sunday. <laughs> but it is weird because I was up at 4. I was tired, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to stay up until, like, 7 a.m. and go ahead and watch it at 7 a.m. with the other two shows that I wanted to watch, go to sleep, watch the one show that I needed to come out today, edit and record it, and then edit all the rest of these videos, but your girl fell asleep <laughs> at like 6 in the morning because she was super tired after helping my mom with stuff, and I wake up at 1, and I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, how the heck am I going to get all four of these shows done and out before the day's over? I'm like, oh, God, I'm stressed already, so... I was just like, should I record one, then another one, then another one, or should I do it by double episodes? But that's probably going to take even longer because either I'm going to be like, mm, let me record and edit both together and then upload. It's now freaking 6.30 and I still have one more show to watch and then edit this and that and just, uh, very, very stressful day for Deja. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, could have in the whole thing too. Cute. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was just because you want to eat lunch together. It's okay. Accidents happen. Oh, That's why you guys are all best girls! Oh my god! Hmm? Who cooked this? Oh.
it's so cute, just like you, baby. Is it good? Oh, of course it is. Do you know what that bad bitch is? Come on now. Like, Asuka is going to make, like, everything. Mwah. Like, ugh. <laughs> Go look at him. He's so fucking cute. <laughs> Anyone can make box lunches. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, can you imagine how early you have to wake up just to make a really good box lunch? I mean, oh, God, I can't imagine. The earliest I've ever woken up for if I had to do something the next day, maybe like 4 or 5 a.m., possibly 3, but then I go back to sleep. <laughs> Come on, not so. Uh. Well, Laura, maybe you should learn to make something as well. Did you not warm the curry up enough? What's more, not more interesting than curry? I've never even had curry and I want it. Honestly, watching this episode just makes me wish I had, like, a home economics class in my high school. But by the time I got to my high school, they had canceled, like, so many things. So I just learned cooking for my mom. It's broccoli. Oh, come on, baby. You've killed Titans. You can crack an egg. You wrote really awesome letters to people and fixed their lives and everything. You can crack an egg! <laughs> Holy shit, Laura. Oh my god, honey. like a little crack and such and then you know open it up <laughs> see now they're just making me hungry 
She's right. It just makes you really appreciate what, you know, either your mother, your father, older brother or sister does. Because some people don't do that for their kids or families. <gasps> ah, look at the strawberries. Strawberries. No. Oh, my God. See, that's our curve before you because you know she'll eat anything. Mm -hmm. Laura, I swear to God, if this child eats. Laura! Poor Nico, Nico, Ni. No, 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 no. So did we make enough? I mean, seriously. Oh, go eat by the beach or something. I mean, oh, God. See, that's a goal. To have a picnic lunch with you, your significant other, your best friends, just family, whoever, making it a date and stuff. Oh, my God. And then eating by the beach and then just hanging out. It's so freaking sweet. Oh, my God. Like, my dreams need to come true, please. Like, I beg you. Like, dear future husband, your, your freaking child. I mean, child. Mm, yeah, I'm a child. Oh, my God. Your freaking significant other wants a freaking picnic date on the beach. <laughs> But it's for you. Appreciate it, Laura. Damn. Well, of course. Oh, that's so pretty. What if there was a pretty here season all about cooking? <laughs> Uh. That's how I felt when I woke up this morning. <laughs> Tired and not wanting to do anything. <laughs> But I get it, you know, she she's like the Usagi 
of this theory, she's hungry. I mean, you know, every girl is hungry before they want to transform as in a badass superhero. <laughs> uh, that's why it's always important to eat first, but, you know, up until when bad guys are like, no, you can't eat your lunch. <laughs> You know, honestly, I like the message that these girls are saying because they get a different thing every single week. I don't remember what last week's was, but saying eat well and sleep well, yeah, that's the best thing. Please, like, watch your health. Like, oh my god. about to be defeated because they haven't eaten oh my god you're just hungry hmm? we about to have a lunch break yeah Oh, that's smart. <laughs> we really <laughs> Yeah, you may want to go ahead and hurry up. Can't really appreciate it this week. Asuka, your Nobara is showing a lot, baby, and I fucking love it. <laughs> your Mai is also showing at times, baby. <laughs> Should I just go ahead and buy merch for this show instead of the iPad that I want? I mean, shit. Precious baby.
Mm-hmm. Oh, because it's cute. Because could it in is right there. So your hibiki, your hibiki is showing, baby. <laughs> Ice. And then what if the ice melts? Like. <laughs> So fucking cute. Honestly, the best meals are when you can eat with others. I can't speak. Despite whatever the heck you're eating. I mean, like, it could be some pizza. You can make some really good nachos, some spaghetti. Um, mac and cheese, or one of my other personal favorite me- meals, since now I'm officially a vegan, and I've been a vegan for, like, now four or five months. Um, I, <laughs> one thing that I still eat, as someone who used to go from eating meat and now eating plant-based, it's rice with cheese sauce and broccoli, and then I had chicken. But I haven't had it with plant-based chicken yet, so I just have it with, like, rice, cheese, and then the broccoli so good like that is like even though you know how like a lot of people say macaroni and cheese is a comfort food cheddar broccoli and rice that is like the best fucking comfort food ever like uh i can still kind of eat some of the same things that you see except because of the fact is i'm not eating meat anymore um and i'm eating like things that are plant-based meat and it's very similar to almost actual meat (sighs) it's so good And I don't feel guilty when I eat it or, like, I feel like I'm going to throw up or anything. Because, like, that's what I used to always feel anytime when I would eat, like, ground turkey. I would always feel super duper tired and everything. But honestly, yes, eating meals with someone is so much better. Even if it's just sometimes a dog who is just staring at you the whole entire time like my dog does. And then, you know, just eating at a table or, you know fucking couch or some shit man but seeing Asuka you know like cook with them that was just so cute like uh family uh hmm? oh she pretty and of course they're not gonna show what she looks like I get it yeah because it's a makeup filled episode and we ain't gonna know what it's gonna be like until next Saturday that's BS, but I get it. So it seems like mainly Sango, our Kirby, might be the main, main focus of next week as well. Since if it seems like it is a makeup influence episode because of the fact is a movie set, I mean, a movie's being shot and everything, it seems like, yeah, we're going to go our, you know, resident Kirby, baby, purple trick, you know, our, our Kirby, yes, our Sango, our, I mean, Nadeshko. It, it's her time to shine once again. Let's go. 
But, like, seriously, Asuka cooking with them was really, really sweet. We needed something else to see these four bond together, technically five. But it would have been interesting to see Laura cook as well, because Laura is... Laura seems like that one type of character who's very impatient, and, and you can tell she is. So imagine her cooking. You know she would have been hella impatient about everything. This girl was trying to eat the freaking strawberries way before you're supposed to eat the strawberries. Like, when it comes to a picnic or something with your friends you're always eating like the dessert things the last thing because that is the best thing on the menu especially when you're going to have a picnic with your friends or whatever you're gonna have like um macaroni salad maybe tuna salad i don't really know a lot of people who still eat tuna salad but okay um potato salad uh, maybe like some little mini sausages or anything else, sandwiches, paninis, wraps, like anything that you're typically going to bring to a picnic, soup, salads, um, crackers, because I've seen a lot of people bring crackers from like a lot of TikTok videos and other things that I've seen <laughs> and that cute like multi-thermos thing that I want so bad and such and, and it's just so comforting and sweet and the people will put like M&Ms and like a whole bunch of things. I'm sorry I'm getting hungry while talking about this but like uh it's just to have a chance to sit down with your friends family whoever and eat a meal together it's the best thing even if you're sitting watching TV together it's still one of the best things to have time with someone to do something with someone else because there are not many people who are going to give someone else their children, their other families, their significant others, whoever, the time of day because they're possibly busy and sometimes you have to make things happen in the moment and just be proud of that. I love the fact that Manatu was um, able to cook dinner for her mom. It, it shows you that like, oh hey, she's growing up into an adult even more. But yeah, it was a really sweet and enjoyable episode. Like, still you made me hungry because I am hungry. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 8 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday, Sunday for episode 9. Bye, guys.